Before I start talking about doing drug discovery with CDD World, so I would like um, briefly refresh our memory on the timelines of current drug discovery, right? So we all know that taking drug to the market can take like up to 10 to 15 years. And while spending almost over $2 billion, um, large, large amounts of biological data points for millions of small and large molecules get um, being generated and stored in various databases. So it's critical to handle these accumulated data with care and efficiency without sacrificing the security that every drug discovery company is so um, careful about. So um, for so many years, data points have been captured and on paper, on flat MS files, and being shared via emails and drives until uh, bioinformatics software platforms uh, like CDD World were introduced. So the top of this very expensive and time-consuming funnel is where um, CDD World comes into picture, emphasizing the importance of um, implementing bioinformatics software platforms at the very early stages. So from concept to clinic, drug discovery project uh, requires effective collaboration between many disciplines, chemists, biologists, management, finance teams, or invest investors, um, as well as a, uh, supporting bioinformatics platform like CDD should have needs to be secure, accessible, and easy to use to make life scientists' life easier, right? The point here is just that the scientists should focus on doing science rather than caring where their data is, like how up-to-date the data is, right? So drug discovery has many steps, and as you see in every single step, every step has its own expertise, methods of analysis, and data types, and the CDD world helps to harmonize them all in a single place a unified interface. So in our in our India organizations that we see we come across with, those that do not have platform like this is results are being communicated between the team members in a very traditional manner, like I said earlier, right? So but as the project ramps up attempting to find the most up-to-date data, getting more and more complicated and interferes with effective decision-making and again, taking time away from doing science. So, and each project discipline like chemists, biologists, uh, management or investors has their own needs. They look at specific data within the world uh, realm and the lack of unified database creates lots of tensions between them. So I'm going to kind of brief what CDD Vault is about, and most of you are users of CDD Vault here. So CDD Vault is actually the first fully cloud-based platform introduced to the research scientific community. And it allows to store, mine, and research data, enabling project teams to co collaborate in real time without uh, wasting time on the other semantics that has been taking their attention away from doing science, right? So if you look at first glance, the world consists of four modules. We call the activity registration, visualization, inventory, and ELN, and of course, API, which I, I will cover later. But besides being an elegant platform, like our users usually call it, it helps you to manage any data, any scientific data, be it a cell lines, small and large, molecules, plasmids, or um, formulations, mixtures, and reagents, right? So let's briefly look at each of these modules. So first one is entity registration system. Compound registration allows you to store your data related to small molecules, large molecules, bioassays, DNA and RNA sequences, combinatorial assays, mixtures, and formulations. So this is the place where you run your calculations, you run your those response plots, you upload your unstructured data, like your charts and stuff like that. So this is where the work starts. The second uh, in module we call inventory. Inventory allows you to track and keep a, um, keep a track of your reagents and compounds and automatically updates your inventory levels as you pull certain compounds towards certain project. Um, the system automatically allocates SKU numbers to your reagents and compounds. So right now, this inventory model is going through really big serious enhancements on our side. So soon it's gonna be uh, very fancy for all the users. Um, the third module is visualization. Visualization is a very dynamic tool, and this is actually where analysis happens. Based on the data that you have entered in the entity registration system, you pull all your plot, you plot your graphs, and you look at your molecules, outliers, or what are the most promising molecules, what are bad molecules, 
and you can filter group and com compare all your compounds in one dashboard. You can set your property calculators, publish and share this visualization report with your investors, which shows how due diligently you are focused on doing science. The last module is electronic lab notebook. The CDD Volts ELN is made both for chemistry and biology teams. It is for storing your structured and unstructured data. And what is great about ELN is that ELN can be used for drawing structures or reactions and then linking it back to the entity registration system that we showed earlier. So um, as you see from our brand name, Collaborative Drug Discovery, the word collaboration, that means a lot. That's a foundation of CDD world. The collab real-time collaboration, be it between the members of the same team, between the members of the same organization, partner organizations, CROs, labs, it's very important to make, to have this real-time collaboration to draw effective decisions on a timely manner. But of course, all of this will not make sense if there is a proper security and compliance measures in place. So any R&D organization's data is there intellectual property and the property that's on CDD vault is we take that seriously. We make sure that um, your data is stored in secure data centers and our team members, they get proper trainings regularly to understand the vitals of confidentiality. So now a little bit about API. This, you guys know this topic both better than me. That's why I put somebody helping to put these two simple charts here. So one of the key ingredients of CDD world is its API. Our API is a key ingredient for collaborative environment to create workflows within the same organization. So our RESTful API allows the tool, the vault to be connected or automated, integrated together with other systems that are in the market or databases, right? So here are two of many possible integration methods. As you see, one of them is through data lakes that workflow informatics is great at. So through data lake solution, you get more complicated jobs done. The second option is integrating everyone with everyone, basically data uh, generators with data consumers. But again, uh, could th this is where CDD customers have an opportunity to work with workflow informatics to streamline and make your workflows more efficient at the same time to handle more and more data. So that being said, CDD Vault, security, ease of use, collaborative are the main interlocking idea, ideas behind the Vault. And, but in a larger scale of things, CDD brings to drug discovery world more than just doing research day to day, right? So today, many diseases have not been addressed. They, have, they don't have treatments. And we actually, our goal is to impact the world where novel drugs, um, game-changing drugs will be discovered. And the demand, this is the challenge that puts, um, on the, puts the drug discovery industry under the pressure and increases the amount of data that they generate. So the importance of tracking your data at very early stage is essential, but import, the tracking that data with a bioinformatics tool that does not require your scientist to be an IT guy is even more important. So a future potential of drug discovery puts us or inspires us to constantly remain configurable, adaptable, agile, and scalable, and without sacrificing your workflows and without sacrificing the security that we promised to you. And scalable cloud, cloud or platform like CDD World has the ability to uh, handle more workflows, um, more data points. So, and due to this continuous um, growth focus, CDD World is experiencing um, high adoption rates, especially among the early stage R&D organizations, startups. And that's why we see that in 2022, we hit 5 million logins. This is really big number and we see the big, huge potential, gross potential moving forward. So this simple analytics the that you see. Include the API calls or this is actually a user manual logs? User manual logs. Okay. Yeah, so this analytic em empowers us to scale in parallel to our customers like we see with um, IDEA, like they want to grow, we grow together with them, right? So we create a cool platform that they don't have to worry about anything. What they do, they have to focus on doing science. So, and both in CDD Vault and Workflow Informatics, that we are official partners, we have to make your workflows um, smooth, efficient, for the greater good to deliver the drugs to all of us, to end users. Thank you. So 
sorry, this was not as technical as other guys were, but hopefully it didn't come out across like selling to. <laughs> Sure. Uh, I guess, can you speak to any, like, uh, any sort of maybe difficulty that CDD sort of have with that scalability curve based on rhythmic like that? Um, in terms of sort of handling that amount of data or organizations that, that need a lot more data as they scale as well? Well, the main, as like from my own experience so far, the main biggest challenge is comes from the customer side. Of course, the more data you have to handle, we need to make sure that CDD Vault is responsive to your data, right? And that's why we keep enhancing our API so that when you integrate the Vault with other systems, you don't have to have like long call times, both for requests and exports. So that's, I think that's the only change, but in terms of the Vault's capabilities and the functionality, so we are constantly listening to the customers and adding most important or high demand features to the roadmap and trying to introduce them. Sure. Um, one of the tricks with uh, API is you know, to have these partners that are building in place. And what we can do, and this is us being built on it, is we can improve those partnerships. That is to say, making sure that like our API platform, that kind of like in and out is rewritten and revised, then we disseminate that as quickly as possible. And we work with our partners to make sure that their uh, their connection their interfaces are not updated and managing those relationships uh, work on that's that's an area that we're gonna see for it. One question to why that I've used C D. Um, but it's nice to see the inventory registration and uh, ELN functions. Is there something like a test request uh, workflow so people, since you have all your protocols and all your essays set up, and the entities are already present, is there a way to request a certain essays for, for a certain set of entities slash examples? I don't think I understand the question, sorry. The question is about workflow request and tracking. Uh, yes, basically, the chemist uh, synthesized five samples, wants to have it tested in binding assay A and in, uh, let's say, uh, <clears throat> protein binding assay B, and then instead of sending an email to your favorite biologist, uh, then you could use a test request system where you say, okay, Every sample should be submitted to SAA, should be submitted to SAB. Then the person who executes it, which would be either internal or external, will pick it up and then fulfill the request and then they upload via CD. So, so that's a fairly common workflow. I don't think so. It's a really nice idea, though. That's a really interesting concept. It's not something we support anymore. I mean, that's something, I mean, other, other tools from, from competitors. I think that's, that's pretty valuable because clearly we are all familiar with Excel request sheets and Thurio emails, but by having an online way of actually requesting it, keeping track of the status, and of course, it's, since it's the upload capabilities are already in place, it's an easy to put through. It's it's a common workflow in, in all companies requesting a compound move from inventory to my web, not requesting. Here's my assays out of this compound. Oh, you need this much material for to run those assays, right? You need to have it GMSO stock plated to run those assays. If you have enough, it's okay. You can go, oh, you don't have enough. Those kinds of um, tools I think everybody needs. Yeah, if you go to workflowinformatics.com, you can <laughs> <laughs> go to our software section and you'll see the workflow request and tracking application. So this is something we run into a lot. Um, and it is sort of an unmet need. I think there's a couple of other um, companies that do it. I think Sedulian is probably most notable that they have that kind of functionality. It's kind of missing from Petition Mosaic. So, but I think overall it's a kind of an unmet need. But I don't want to talk too much about that. But the question was not very good. So just to clarify though, uh, you guys do offer a solution for that? Uh, yes. Okay. Yeah. 
to be able to deploy it in a few different places. Uh, not always integrating the CDD, but that, that's at least two of them. Yeah, it, it either integrates with your existing inventory, sample inventory, or it, you, it actually has its own sample inventory schema as well. Okay. It sits on a relational you know, database if you want to work with it, whatever you want.